Hello there, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Today we're going to the Onan system to investigate the Revenant signal. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit like. If you want to see other games, hit subscribe. I got more to come. Alright, let's do this thing. Alright, let's ride. We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. Uh-oh. All stop, now! Cat ships. A dozen. Uh, no, more. Okay. They've got us pinned against the scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, and they scan got big, them back. They got big guns. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You first. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. Alright. I might understand. Try me. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. But I'm already great. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Bet you guys weren't expecting that, were you? Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! It will be tight. Kello. Way to go, Kello. <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. All right, let's stay calm. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear, we're the galactic good guys. Efanola, Fahan and Gasad Regara. Efanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please. You're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. 
I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. Why not? What could go wrong? If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? I am the ghost. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Nice to meet Hello. you. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Hmm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? Uh, you have a vault. We're looking to look at it. Our intentions are simple. We'd like to look in your vault, and then we're out of here. You think that's simple? <laughs> you don't know anything. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Okay. At least they're not shooting at me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Okay. Oh, the place looks awesome. Waterfalls, plant life. They look like futuristic tree houses, though. Talk much, do they? This is the resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak. No, I am telling you to be strong. Through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Uh, 
All right, creepy. Jeez. Our experience with the cat makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. Okay, I understand. We've had our own run-ins with the cat. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. I apologize. It wasn't meant that way. I have an ark full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Mushai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault, but now the Ket have her. And our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us. And you. Does it have to be her? There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. From the I'll be your way. eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Welcome on board, Joe. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. I hope I don't regret this. Me too. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. You know I will. You really think the Moshai is alive? I'm sure of it. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. No promises. Well, it was a short okay, trip. Mr. Rider, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. All right, let's. Let's go. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew.
I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. All right, everybody, focus. I know we're improvising as we go, but let's remember that there is Pathfinder team protocol. Don't think I got that handbook. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down! Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. All right, thanks. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? <laughs> You'll get there. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Talk to Joel. What's up, Liam? Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Joel. Try not to scare him away, huh? What up, Liam? One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Sounds fun. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Cool. Alright, Lexi, what's up? 
Right. So, Jal. So, we haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are, you are, aliens. <laughs> yep, so are you. And you're alien to us. So there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. All right. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or oh, she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. This something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. Well, until next time. This was good. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. <laughs> Let's talk more later. Alright, cool. Let's go to Bold. Or not Bold. The other one. Aya has so much biodiversity. And the waterfalls. Just like Sir Kesh. All right, guys, let's roll. I'm picking up something. Really? Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Oh, we gotta check that out. Some beryllium. Okay. Okay, where are these places? Bold is there. Yes, is there. Her okay, I guess we're going this way.
Might as well explore this uh, little cluster. Plat oh, heck yeah, I could use that. Check this place out. I'm picking up something. Oh, you can see the clouds. Probe away. I found something. Thriving on Ferrum, where little else can massive fungal forest stretching kilometers in the moist and hot air. Wow, it's a fungus swamp. Alright, let's check out the farthest one. Eelfine. Okay. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. It's a big mountain of graphite. I mean, if you can see it from space, it has to be a huge mountain of it, right? Hit this one up. All right, nothing's here. I thought Vold was a planet. It was more like a moon. Twenty nine degrees Celsius. Uh something tells me that's a little bit warm. Uh, let's do this thing. The mag. Ooh, do we got anything for this? No, I need to keep my health. Man, I definitely need better armor. Try some cryo bullets. All right, we're definitely gonna need to bring Joel along. And this time, PB, since she's interested in why we're here. All right, purple squad. <laughs> purple squad. Let's roll out. <laughs> Changing the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be 
landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think his... Hey, I saw those on Habitat 7. Well, that's something you don't see back home. Bringing us in. supposed to go. Oh, look at all these plants. The vault must be fully operational here. It is beautiful, but the wilds can also be deadly. And look at that gas giant in the sky. <laughs> gas giant in the sky, wow. Welcome to the jungle. None of these readings show any change. How could there not be a change? This device cleans artifacts using gentle ion pulses which remove dirt and debris while keeping the delicate relic intact. Okay. Hey. Jar, what are you doing here in the company of these people? Kiran, this is Pathfinder Ryder from a long way away. The Ryder, way. Kiran Dahls, lead scientist at Darpanev. Honored to meet you. I am honored to meet you as a representative of the Andromeda Initiative. Are all their people this formal? I don't think so. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of Remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. Let me help. I know how to work Remnant Tech. I can help you. Ryder has seen a vault and apparently reset it. Somehow. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis and it may happen again. Jeez. Translated from Shalesh. An incredible find out in the field last week. A shuttle from before the scourge surfaced down surfaced down in the ravine. From afar, it looks like the crash site is remarkably preserved, especially to have withstood Varl's elements. I know Kirin tasked me with studying the monolith, but maybe I could make my way down there check it out just a peek to see if there's anything for avail avail the pronunciation from shanish yeah, shalesh it's kind of hard for me but to tell you the truth a lot of pronunciation <laughs> a 
these words are, are hard for me. What's wrong, dude? Don't stay here, visitor. It's not safe, and I can't be responsible for you. You should have warned me you were coming. Now, yeah, what's up with the fire? What caused these fires? Is there an emergency? This die used to be a much larger settlement. Wildlife overtook it, destroyed above and below. Blood roots ruptured an underground fuel pipeline. A stray spark lit these fires. Who are you? What are you doing here? Making sure the fires don't get worse. I'm a surveyor, an engineer from the station. I need to divert fuel from the pipes buried here. I'll cut off the flames eventually. I'll get going. Be careful. You too. Yashari. <sighs> that went well. that hate aliens. That means you. Charming. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Translated from Swiss. I know you told me not to go near the ancient crash site that surfaced, but I had to give that a, give it a shot. You're right. Too difficult to get there. Remnant chased us off before we got halfway down the ravine. Hopefully you can get your get here yourself. You were always good at dodging those machines. Though I don't know how safe it'll be with those outsiders roaming around, the spiky ones. Have you seen them? I don't know how to feel about it. I got off track. The point is, you were right. We're still studying the monolith, but I'll let you know if we find anything you can mention in the repository. Torvar. Spiky ones? Talking about Turians? Looks 
like I need better armor. Speaking of Joe, I better juice his skills up. PB. PB with the win. If you get any fungal slime on your skin, I suggest you wash it off immediately. What? Let's be careful around the native flora, okay, everyone? Okay, I've never described a mushroom as pretty, but those are. That hurt. that thing.
pick up life support. Seriously, gotta rethink my uh, suit situation. caught in the stasis field. Exactly where Kieran said they would be. Uh, I gotta do Alien Sudoku again, probably. Yes. 
So we know it's not that, 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 that. And something else is wrong. Monitors and Scott, Scotting stars. What? Who are you? How did? All right, calm down, dude. I'm Ryder. Pathfinder Ryder with the Andromeda Initiative. I'm from another galaxy. Take a moment. Find your bearings. More aliens? Out of nowhere? And y'all? Do none of you remember getting frozen? Frozen? I don't understand. We were just working on the monolith, and then... And then you appeared. You should return to Palev. Kieran will want to speak to you. Maybe you're right. Oh, I feel a head splitter coming on. Is it more aliens? We should make sure they return to the station. Who knows what lingering effects they might suffer from. This Sam of yours... In your head, how is it allowing you to interface with the remnant? Sam helps with analysis and translation, among other things. It's complicated. talking about other aliens. The spiky ones. Thank you. 
trying to get a move here. Got it. Sure, Kello. What do you need to what do you need to talk about? Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. I don't know. It could use a lake. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains? Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. We can coexist. The Angara live with it, and so can we. And if every one of our colonists was an ace pilot, I wouldn't be worried. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. All right, let's try to head back down. atmosphere LZ in sight Let's go talk to these people. You don't feel any different? I don't think so. Why? Do you? My mind feels clouded, but I don't know if I'm just tired. Alright, Kieran, what do you think about me now? What do you mean, grey spiky aliens? Cat? No. These were different. We were doing a survey of the area and saw them. Before the freeze. You mean Turians? You saw Turians? Why don't you and Torvar talk about that later? Right now, I want to thank you for saving my team. You weren't lying. Kieran told us everything. She even had pictures. 
I apologize for the indifferent welcome you received from me earlier. Yeah, it was understandable. Don't worry about it. You had no reason to trust me. The last aliens you met were Ket. Ryder, what you have done here, your remnant understanding and your Sam should convince Ephra. You're an asset. We should speak to him as soon as we can. Perhaps on the Tempest? Kieran, I've been thinking. If Ryder can use remnants, couldn't we fix the Monoliths? Stop Haval's decline. Haval's decline? This will take time to explain. We can discuss it further when you have time. And don't forget to talk to Torvar about those. What did you call them? Turians? Yeah, where's Torvar? Kieran wants to talk more about Haval's decline. We should discuss it when you have time. You said you saw Turians in the jungle? Is that what they're called? We didn't know. We just kept out of sight. They crashed here, I think. Are they okay? Were they all right? Are they still alive? Still alive? I don't know. We were stuck in that stasis field for a while. I guess they could still be out there. Unless they tried to eat something. Or the Roka got them. I'll give you the nav point and you can go see for yourself. We can speak more later. I'll be here. You were saying something about the planet being in decline? It doesn't look like it, but Havaral is sick. It started here, uncontrolled mutations in organic life, killing some, turning others into poison. We're starting to see the same elsewhere. The planet's ecosystem is crumbling, slowly but surely. It's the monoliths. There are only two of them when they should be three. Sounds like an easy fix. So I go to the third monolith, turn it on, reset the vault, and voila! That is just the thing, Pathfinder Rider. There is no third monolith. It's lost. How do you lose an entire monolith? It could be destroyed, for all we know. We've never tried asking the sages. There could be something in their oral history. Stars. Those superstitious hermits don't care about modern Angara. You know that. You saw the projections for the planet's survival. What do we have to lose? Sages? Sages? Oral histories? On Mithrather. That old remnant edifice over there. They trace their families back to a time just after the Scourge. They believe isolation will maintain the purity of the histories by preventing contamination by modern thought. Basic sense. They probably don't even understand or care that Havaral's dying. It's worth a shot. If asking your sages doesn't work, we'll be back here. So what's the harm in it? The trek up Mithrather's teeming with Remnant. Most of us don't attempt it, but maybe you could do it. Follow the Remnant River, and keep your head. I'd hate to hear something terrible happened in pursuit of some ancient legend. <sighs> Research Center. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Cadmium to do it. But we can make it another initiate armor, at least. Pathfinder helmet. Okay. Let's craft that. resources just yet. Let's get back to the ship, talk to uh, your boy, and we can come back down here and help these guys. Find some Turians. says Ephra is waiting for your call, Pathfinder. Thanks, Callow. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. I can wait. Should have seen it. Perfect drift. You know we've got a finite set of tires, right? Also limbs and lives. Well, what's the point of having them then? Prepping VidCon communications. Joel's been keeping me updated on your adventures, your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. You went out of your way to free that science team. A selfless act. But your true agenda is clear. To explore Aya's vault. Joel says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? I keep my word. I'd like this to be the beginning of a strong relationship. Keep your promises, and little by little our bond might grow. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special camp facility on Vault. 
Why special? These facilities are protected by the dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processors. Pathfinder, adding my processor to that program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully, the Angara don't need anything from you. We take care of our own. You need my AI. With the processing power of my AI, I can guarantee the shield breach. AI? Of course, that makes sense. He's physically connected to me, and so I need to... Well, I want to go. It was risky to be honest about your AI. And honesty makes you different from the Ket. I hope so. You're welcome on the mission. Thank you. The team will meet you at our base on Vault. They'll take you to the Ket facility. Stay strong and clear. Goodbye. Jal said he wanted to see you. Alright, thanks, Tuvi. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. Trust, but not approved. I still don't think he likes me. That's... Just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai. <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <sighs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. Explains his hatred of aliens. That's why he hates aliens. Yes, he suffered greatly. When Aksul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant or anything except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Aksul's not the type to follow orders. And... Uh, I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I want to reason with them. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Aksul. I admire your courage, but Aksul's dangerous, and he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home, I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarol who escaped with Aksul from the Ket. Her name is Thoradir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nav point. Alright, so it looks like Havarl has a bunch of things we need there. We need to hit up those vaults, we need to find the Turians, and we need to deal with those Rokar. Again! I'll lend you 30 if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank you, Suvi. Someday I'll find out why you're always strapped for credits. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope to see you next time. See you around the galaxy. Peace!